Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello everyone, thank you for coming back to the channel, and yes, it is Mother's Day. We are celebrating Mother's Day over here on the channel day of Chanel's 48th World. So happy, happy, happy Mother's Day to each and every one of my family members, those who are mothers, those who are acting mothers, those who are mothers grandfathered in. Uh, and those who are mothers just by happenstance, okay? Happy, happy Mother's Day. It's always a family affair over here. And every time we have holidays and um, wonderful events that happen, we come on the channel and we say thank you and happy whatever. So happy Mother's Day, Miss Nene Leaks. We all know you have been a foe and a fan in the social media streets and on the highways and byways but you are still a mother you are a damn good mother and you made it do what it needed to be done for your two children and we salute you okay we may not always agree with how you handle things but you're going to always be in our prayers and we're going to always wish you the best okay happy mother's day nene leaks okay happy mother's day Now we have Kenya Moore, the wonderful, fabulous twirl of a tornado, Kenya Moore. And baby girl Brooklyn, yes, hey Brookie, Brookie, Brookie. Happy Mother's Day, Kenya. You have been the villain, you have been the friend, you have been the foe, and now you just want to sit your ass back and just relax and let someone else take over the reins of the villain character. And we say, bullshit, we know you still going to be out there here and there serving it up to us the people the social media the world because that's what you do you show up and you show out okay and we want to congratulate you also for being a mother mother happy mother's day to your miracle baby baby bricky okay happy happy mother's day to you love and many more or she's gonna be the only one okay then we got candy burris yes the one who says she could take a tree uh take a shade tree and turn it into a money tree and she has been definitely giving us and serving us all up and we want to say you did a beautiful job with raising riley you did a beautiful job as subbing in as another mom or stepmom however they want to see you to kayla and you have just do been doing the darn thing i'm sorry we cut baby ace off but you have had these four children under your wing and they are flourishing very well and i like that i like that and those babies i tell you they look just like you except for baby ace he's kind of favoring todd a lot more than you but we know you gave birth to him and we know you show improve and we want to say happy mother's day to you candy girl yes happy mother's day to you and many more if you plan on doing it but as your baby girl riley state she ain't in that business she's only in the business of making herself happy <laughs> <laughs> she ain't trying to be nobody's caregiver nobody's takeover babysitter no <laughs> she said she wants to live in california or new york away from the hoopla of all the children and the comings and goings so that was very funny i was on speak on it <laughs> while i was watching canterbury's speak on it and riley was just reading her down like no uh -uh, i gotta be happy with them myself before i can make other people happy i gotta uh, 
uh, preserve my peace. And I said, go ahead, New Yorker, California. You're fitting right on in with that attitude. Even though Candy looked like she wanted to slap the shit out of uh, right upside her head. Like, you're just selfish and you just don't want to think about other people. <laughs> well, Candy... On Mother's Day, happy Mother's Day. That's what we go through. We try to critique our children. We try to say, look, this, that, and the third. And they won't get it until they have um, a child of their own. And when they walk that line, they can say, damn, my mama was right. My grandmama was right. Ah, but anyway, she'll be done had all her feel of giving herself and taking care of herself emotionally and financially. And then she is willingly opening herself up to having a child and giving to that child and she's taking a back seat okay but happy 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 mother's day and i got a little bone to pick with you too candy because you sitting up here and giving all these folks uh well i get back with you on that one but happy mother's day portia 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 happy mother's day even though you give us grief we have to drag you from time to time we have to put you in your place as we see fit we can say nothing about your mothering skills when it comes to when we see you with baby girl pj all right she's yours and dennis from the top of y'all heads to the soles of y'all feet baby girl is happy when she is with you and her dad and that's a beautiful thing that means both of you all are doing something right okay because pj loves to be with her mom she loves to have her mom's attention and that's a beautiful thing so we can't take that from you Porsche. we just want you to spend more time with her rather than your man but anyway we got Cynthia Bailey over here. Yes, Cynthia Bailey looking all fresh and together. And we want to say Happy Mother's Day to you as well. Cynthia, Cynthia, Cynthia. Showing us face and fashions every time you get a chance to. And we're saying we appreciate you being Noelle's mother. Okay, you definitely told taught her everything about fashion and face. And then you enlisted two other little uh, daughters of your own, Mike's daughters and that y'all all kind of look favoring each other there but you are a good mother we never saw anything other than goodness from you cynthia and uh we still chuckle here and there about their french friendship friendship contract that you uh burnt and put in the uh faucet that time but it just is what it is you know but salute you Cynthia and we got Monty over here we got Marlo Hampton serving as an aunt and a mother while her sister Kia is living with her while she is in uh we're just gonna put it politely she's away from from the scene right now okay and since it is mental health month for the whole uh, month of May we want to wish your sister all the love and support one can put on her maybe she uh, hopefully she would get out of her situation so she can be out in a general population and doing what she needs to do for us continually loving on her sons and raising her sons but you are a great fill-in person to do such so happy mother's day auntie monty marlo hampton okay keep doing what you do and we cannot forget about our only white cast member, Kim Zosiak. Okay, you may like her, you may hate her. You may find her as a friend, you may find her as a foe. But she definitely showed up and showed out on the primarily all black cast on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. So we got to salute her for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay because people were switching up her wigs trying to tug here and there they were trying to throw salt on her name uh just everything just everything and she stood her ground she stood her ground so happy mother's day to none other than kim zoziak berman okay i don't know where she going with this football team i never really in my lifetime saw of my age group and older of a woman having them many children i mean i've seen it in a black race i just went so familiar with it in the white race but my goodness you got a football team a baseball team over there and i know you love each and every one of them miss kim zosiak so we're gonna say happy mother's day to you and to yours honey yes happy mother's day to you and yours and all that 
Jazz. Okay, then we got Kim Fields. I know y'all ain't think I forgot about her. Yes, honey. Happy Mother's Day to Kim. Uh, we know you're an actress, true to form, and you had your little stink on uh, the Real Housewives of Atlanta. They didn't appreciate what you were trying to give them, but I do, girl. I did. I was still watching you in the comments and goings and the ins and outs. You were just a little bit further from them. That's all it was, Kim. But happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to Shamari DuVall. Yes, and her two twins. And again, we got Kim. You know, we got to go in between with them because I know I had more pictures of Kim and I couldn't find them. So I had to switch in between both mothers of Kim and Shamari because I couldn't really find no pictures of Shamari where she was just really with her kids. It was always her and Ronnie DeVoe. So we wish them both Happy Mother's Day. Y'all doing a fabulous job out there. An exceptional raising of your children, of our young black men growing up. And Ronnie DeVoe, no, he needs to get the Mother Day Award too. Okay, because he's be there with his kids like it ain't no other. All right. And uh, we want to say happy, happy Mother's Day to uh, uh, Shamari as well as Kim Fields. Now we have Phaedra. I don't know why Phaedra don't keep her hair like this. I'm or some some similar to that style because she don't woo that little blonde wig she wearing she need to throw it in the trash and set it a fire and wear it no more but we're not talking about that i got off a tangent okay but happy 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 mother's day phaedra parks and i can tell you i definitely got a chance to work with or be in the presence of her two sons I was uh, working a part-time job to supplement my income, people, at Toys R Us. And I got a chance to meet the caregiver of uh, Phaedra's two boys. And they were lovely. Now, that Dylan, he's a handful. He's a handful, but it is what it is. But I did get a chance to meet them. And they were very hospitable and very mannerable, especially Apollo's son. Well, I guess both of them are his son. Uh, but anyway, we don't went off our pictures. So let's continue to roll. Happy Mother's Day to Eva Marcel. Seems like she's trying to do a Kim Zosiac and have more babies, more babies, and more babies. Okay, because I definitely think, or well, I saw it somewhere, that she's supposed to be pregnant again, y'all. Get in the comments and let me know that I get it right. Or if I'm off the mark. I, I'm, I'm off the mark but she's a fabulous mom she always um seems to put her family first and that's a good thing always and she definitely has done a very good job with raising um her baby girl before she got married to michael uh and that's a good thing that's a good thing so we salute none other than uh eva marcel hopefully all these young ladies are getting spoiled today which technically they should get spoiled every day because they're mothers every day and they pick up and do whatever they can for their family uh as they should all right so again happy mother's day to everyone and even if i tried to cover all the mothers that i've ever talked about on my show but you know it can be a lengthy video and i didn't want to go that far with it so i just opt out to try to do just my um real housewives of atlanta uh mothers but of course wendy williams is a mother and she definitely has had her time in social media, both negative and positive. Okay, so we wanted to wish her a happy Mother's Day as well. Then we got uh, Fallon Pina. Once was Fallon Gabadia. Happy Mother's Day to you. <coughs> there was no children involved or uh, have come to pass that you had with Simon. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it just is what it is. Uh congratulations and happy mother's day to you happy mother's day to drew sadora and her three boys and any more she may tend to have with her husband but that's another story for in another video and we'll leave it at that okay but happy 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 mother's day to drew sadora then we got sanya now sanya's supposed to have all these family members living with her and that is truly a village taking care of 
children, okay? But Samuel, we want to say and salute you. Happy Mother's Day on your one son and probably another one to come if you and your husband can get on the same page. Not a bad thing, not a good thing, but it is what it is. Women have to care of those babies and men just have to implant the sperm and sit back and watch it grow. So that's, you know. I don't think men should have too much to say about a woman's body and what we go through far as carrying that child because we are carrying them, not the husband. And if we had to put one of those body pregnancy uh, suits on the men and let them carry it through each trimester, I'm sure they would definitely be willing to say, well, one child is enough. <laughs> <laughs> baby girl one child is enough because i see what you have to go through and i think it should be that way when you have men that want to not necessarily force but put the pressure on having another child we need to let them have that body suit that they have to wear uh for the duration of the pregnancy so they can get a feel of what a woman goes through pretty much. But I want to say and salute all of my mothers on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. You all are doing a fabulous job. We, we get on you all from time to time, from here to there. But we can never really get on you and fault you and blame you of not trying to take care of your children. As you seek and try to do and prove in your... <coughs> trained what do you call it <coughs> careers that you're fostering for yourselves trying to make that money and revenue and legacies for your family and yourself y'all did a beautiful job <coughs> y'all keep doing what y'all think y'all need to do in the form of how y'all need to get y'all money just keep it kosher we don't want no jail time and no sentences running around here okay because it just wouldn't look good and we would still say you're not a good mother we'll just be on you and what you're doing out here in these streets and how it's making your kids look out here in these streets i'm just saying but to each and every one of my mothers of the real housewives of atlanta and anybody else i covered but i didn't include their picture happy happy mother's day may your day be filled with joy love and peace okay Love, joy, and peace until the next Mother's Day is rolled around. But we all know Mother's Day consists of 365 days of the week. Whether you're feeling good, whether you're feeling bad, whether you are <coughs> just not into it at the time. <laughs> we know we still have to play and do that role of mother. Okay? But that's all I got for this video, guys. Hope y'all like it, love it, gotta have more. Alright? From me to you. Have a happy Mother's Day. Bye-bye.